1859, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, they are much. Alright, let me run the command again for this. Let me see if it will work. Let me go through. Forever's function. You're gonna initialize like drive with light module. We're going to initiate driver line module 60 seconds. Okay. It's been running now. They run the two of them. Yeah. I think I can do it left and right and at a time. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the right and the left. Right? Come on, talk over there. Did I do that now? Right through when he's on the road. I think I can do it one at a time. Remove on this one. What well, again? No, this should remove. We're just testing it, so I'm just recording oh, the movement of it. I don't know if it's finished. I don't know. Let me look. It's finished? It's finished. Alright, then it's done good. It's done properly. What does that mean? It's done properly without errors. Once you oh, say it's everything. Error, oh, without errors, that's enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us run through and do it. Alright, I'm going to run this one here. Run anti dazzle, whatever. Address non dazzle I beam, address dynamic marker. Non dazzle. Let me, let me, let me do this. Non level? Non dazzle. Non dazzle. It doesn't dazzle the driver, not too bright. Oh. Should the non dazzle I beam be no be adjusted using the adjustment head? Alright. Let me take a picture of this when I go home, I can read some shit here. Oh no, we're not getting an error code, man. All right, relax. So we're not getting the error code, we're better with us. Um, yeah, yeah, this, the error is still there for adaptive LI malfunction. I just saw it. It's still there on the, on the cluster. Um, we said here, to address a non-dazzle, I'll be melee, reproduce the following uh, vehicle condition. Switch on ignition or PID switch mode. Okay, switch light, switch to position two. Don't touch it, please. Switch light, switch position to two. Low beam, light, high beam, must be switched off. Yeah, low beam, that's low beam, boom. Uh, high beam is activated by a diagnostic command for the adjustment process. Alright, continue. In the next step, the following procedure started. A reference run is performed, the high beam headlights is switched on by a diagnostic command. Headlights are moved to the straight edit position. The adjustment procedure can then be uh, processed. Alright, cool. All right, I clicked it, so. What do you say, what do you say? It says, um, now the adjustment procedure can be done, and that was the procedure will be next. So I guess next one will be continue. Continue. So the end. You got to do that before you run the loop, man. Wait, wait, wait. This hourglass is running. I've watched this. Why? Was it next number? No, the adjustment procedure can be done. All right. Oh, all right. So, 303. Switch on GZ administration mode. I, this is kind of strange to me. I don't. 
GZA. No, but that man that's option to tell if you do next, you know. I just didn't know. Bright, dark, boundary. How they like it? It's a way that Proceed with my 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 Proceed must be adjusted to service function. Yeah, you don't need to do that. All right, there's nothing else I can do here. Delete fall codes again. Let me see what remains. <sighs> Boom. Eh? Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, I know, I know. It's like malfunction. You know, you know what control it? The, the, it's like uh, the foot walking FRMs? No voltage. Alright, this is the current battery voltage. Huh? Let's see. Can I get that here? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Lean bus wire problem. Still doesn't, it's not communicating on it. Problem is. Oh, no, we have to do the wire check then. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that malfunction comes on as soon as you turn on the switch, but it will go away as you turn the switch with the, other, with the, um, the low beam. Or uh, normal. If you turn it off, off of, if the switch is turned on, that is when that malfunction showed up on the cluster. If you turn this off, let me see if I'm wrong or if I'm right. We are gonna wait until we see some kind of a I beam work. I beam work, but as soon as you turn this switch here, you turn it on to the adaptive your light setting. It's gonna come up with a malfunction for adaptive your light malfunction. Yep, the lean bus is defective. You need to be running a new wire. That's it, dear man. They can use the scar still, but they have to turn it off. Just turn off the switch away from adaptive your light, and then once you put it here, a little beam, and you can also work with that. The I beam it work and there's no uh, malfunction uh, check control message comes up so youtubers I'm gonna end this video right now so it's almost one hour on the phone so I'm gonna end it right now so thank you for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube I am out